Hello everyone, I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. I remain your host, Kim Korea's Updates. Nice to meet you all. Now, this video will be my monthly mission for this month of June. And as usual, it always comes in two things. The first one says, Korean national holidays and official anniversaries or combining Korean culture with the culture of my country that's my nationality but for this video i'll be going with the first one which says korean national holidays slash official anniversaries koreans officially follow the gregorian that's solar calendar and there are 11 public holidays most of which have feast dates some are however celebrated in accordance with the lunar calendar now, Siola, which is Lunar New Year's Day, and Chuseok, Korean Thanksgiving Day, are the most important holidays for Koreans, whereby millions of people visit their hometown to celebrate with families. Here are the breakdowns of the Korean holiday. Now, the first one happens every January 1st, that's the New Year's Day. As we all know, it happens in all other countries. But in Korea, many Koreans visit the coast. Some visit the mountains to watch the first sunrise. The second one happens January 21st to 24th. Now, in the solar, that's the lunar calendar. The first day of the year by the lunar calendar. It's a three-day celebration where many people eat rice cake, such as yogurt and dumpling soup, that's manduguk, and make a deep traditional bow to their elders, playing traditional games such as yunuri, traditional Korean board games, they fly kites, and they spin tops. The third one happens every March 1st, which is the Independence Movement Day. This day honored the Declaration of Independence proclaimed on March 1, 1919, while under Japanese colonization. It was massive, non-violent public protest against the Japanese colonial rule. The fourth one is the celebration of Buddha's birthday. It happens on May 27th, with a substitute holiday held on May 29th, falling on the April 8th of the lunar calendar. Now, it is set aside to celebrate the birth of Shakyamuni Buddha. A variety of celebratory events are held in Buddhist temples across the country. The fifth one is the Children's Day, and it happens every May 5th. It is a day designed to raise awareness of love and care for children. With various events, Held for parents and their kids. Enjoy the visit to places like city and amusement parks, zoos, movie theaters, e-city. The 6th is on June 6th. It is the Memorial Day. June 6th serves to honor the soldiers and civilians who have given their lives for the country and to honor the achievements of war heroes and veterans with a national memorial service at the National Crematory in Seoul. August 15th is the seventh holiday and it's called the Liberation Day. It's intended to celebrate the liberation of Korea from Japanese colonial rule in 1945. Also, on August 15th, 1948, the Republic of Korea was formally established. The next on the list happens on September 28th to 30th and it's called the Chuseok Day. Families gather together to hold a memorial service for their ancestors at home or at family groups. They make witches under the full moon at night. The ninth one happens October 3rd. It's the National Foundation Day. It honors the founding of the Korean nation by the legendary god King Dangun in 2333 BCE. October 9th is the 10th one, and it is Hangul Day. It's intended to honor King Sejong's promulgation of Yumin Jungun, the Hangul Manuscript. 
Now, the last on the list happens December 25th. It is the Christmas day. Christmas trees and lights will be seen all over Korea to celebrate the festive season. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more of this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.